hopefully I'll kill you soon, buddy. Just stick around. Alright, here's just a decent visual here. Uh, last time I shot, this was the first combination I tried. As you can see here, the that's as if it, you were looking in the barrel. 90 grains of 2F, the grease cushion wad, wasp nest, muffin mix mixed with shot, and an overshot card. And then the best load that produced for me was the 100 grains of 2F, grease cushion wad, muffin mix on the bottom of the shot cup, and then uh, the, sh the shot in a paper cup. And you know, I did not add muffin mix. I don't know that it makes that much difference, but uh, that's the load that works the best. And then the third load I try here, you can see it was the typical loading for small game hunting or whatever. Now, I don't use that much powder for small game, but it's this method. It's the powder than just the greased cushion wad, the pellets, and an overshot card. And lastly was the Sky Chief. I got the powder, a third of a cushion wad, overshot card, pellets, and then a heavily soaked cushion wad on top of it all. Well, it's April 24th. Did a pile of yard work today. One of the things I wanted to do was shoot the smoothbore with all the shot cups. I made 12 shot cups up this morning. That's just a 3x4 piece of sketch paper wrapped around a dowel rod that I had turned. It's 5 eighths for a 20 gauge. Go ahead and load this thing up and shoot this thing at probably like 35 yards and see what shoots the best. Something like ounce and a half and an ounce and three quarter and then I'm going to try 3F and I'm going to try 2F and Whatever shoots the best out of those, I'll, I'll go. So, yeah, let's do ounce and a half of number sixes in a paper shot cup over 100 grains of 2F. And then we're going to try an ounce and three quarter of shot over 100 grains of 2F. And then we're going to try the same thing, ounce and a half of number sixes over, let's do 80 grains of 3F. And then we'll do an ounce and three quarter of 80 of 3F. So, and whatever other shoots the best out of those is what we'll go with. So what I'm using here is these little charge tube or a powder tube um, from muzzleloaders.com and it's kind of neat because I never thought about this. I'm always weighing out my shot but really once I have this figured out the 110 grain volume is an ounce and a half and a one and three quarter ounces is about 125 uh, grains. So I'm going to measure it out, but on the scale, but it's kind of nice to have that as a reference, you know what I mean, if I just want to dump a little shot over and not have to get out my scale and do all that stuff. So one and a half ounces of number sixes is 110 grains. I'm doing this so that I can reload quicker. I don't have to come in here and measure each time I go to shoot. Same thing if you watched the last video, I'm going to do the powder that I greased, bear grease, cushion wad, a full one, and then the paper shot cup, it's just paper, glued in the end, I'll snip this flush, roll the ends in, and then put an overshot card in. That'll be it. No choke, just the 62, I'm not going to use the choke, and the 58 doesn't seem to make that much difference. So, let's go out here and give her a try. Man, I cannot find... My little dew flicker that goes in the bottom of my camera for my tripod. Maybe I won't be able to do much videoing today. And I cannot find my little tripod. I'm not sure why. Okay, go over these targets here. This was the first one, one and a half ounces of shot in uh, 100 grains of 2F. For some reason, right in here where the turkey head was, there's not a whole lot of shot either side. It was pretty good, but regardless, there's a hole in the pattern there. Um, wasn't that great. I had, uh, looks like 26 hits in the circle. Then the worst target, was 100 grains of 2F with uh, one and three quarter ounces of shot. And I don't recall that I pulled or anything. I was resting on my knee for all these shots, but as you can see here, uh, I only had 13 in the circle 
have one right in the center, one down the center of the neck there, and one in the head. I mean, it would kill the bird, but not very many pellets. I had trouble with the wind blowing this target and then stapled it tore off. But anyway, it's not, not a real good one. I noticed an improvement when I went to the 3F. Uh, this is one and a half ounces of 3F. And uh, remember, this is 35 yards. That's a stretch for a flintlock. So I'm wanting to shoot and see how they shoot at my basically my farthest range. I don't want to be shooting much past 35. That should be my max. So this one here, so this is one and a half ounces of... Uh, and I had uh, 29 in the circle. I thought that was pretty good. I got a bunch in the neck and the head there. Pretty, pretty decent pattern there for being 35 yards. Then I upped it to the one and three quarter ounces and holy cow. Uh, my pattern's a little low, if it's because of the weight or what, but it threw them out there. I had 54 in the circle at 35 yards with the cylinder bore flintlock. That's a heck of a pattern, so that's the one I'm going to go with, one and three quarter ounces, sixes in a shot cup with 80 grains of 3F. I might tinker with it a little more, but at least I have a load that I can use for turkey season. Thanks for watching.